with the belt. One, two on the way. Breaking ball cut on and missed. Strikeout number two of the inning for Cody Shelton. Comes home. 2-2, cut on and miss. Jonathan Sabo, a strikeout victim for the second straight plate appearance as Cody Shelton has now k up three in three innings. 2-2 once more. Hit well towards left center on the run. Sabatini towards the gap, still running. Dives, can't make the play. It rolls towards the wall. Fusey rounding third. Here comes the relay to the plate. It'll be late. Jordan Fusey scores. Sanford's a walk-off winner tonight. one nothing. Mulrine is mobbed in the middle of the diamond as Sanford finally breaks through in the bottom of the ninth for the game's lone run. 1-2 on the way. Breaking ball hit well towards left. That's going to fall in for a single. Dixon getting the wave around third. They're going to test the arm of Sabatini. Throw to the plate is not in time. Throw down to third is not in time either. Brandon Fryman takes third. T.J. Dixon scores. It's an RBI single for Austin Eden. Hit or ball four and Steny takes a called strike three. Sixth strikeout of the night for Mikhail Kozinov. And set at the belt, one, two on the way. Another strikeout. Barrett Sharpie goes down swinging. Seventh K through three frames for Mikhail Kozinov. Full count now with a runner in scoring position, but swung on and missed another K for Kozinov. Number eight on the night for the righty. Let's have a change up as well. Williams Jr. launches this to left. That's a no doubter as it goes track wall. Goodbye. Kevin Williams Jr. jumps on the second pinch he sees out of the hand of Marlon Morris and sends it over the left field wall. His team leading 11th home run of the year, and he's made this a three-run ball game. Citadel seven, Sanford four. One, two on the way. Slider hammered towards right. Going back is Cothran, still going back to the track, to the wall, it is out of here. Jordan Fusey with a two-run shot, his fourth of the year, and this game isn't dead yet. It's a two-run game. Citadel eight, Sanford six. 1-0. This is hit on the ground. Right back to McCordy. Gloves it. His throw to second to Fryman is in time for one. Relay to first. Picked out of the dirt by Austin Edens. And the Bulldogs turn a 1-6-3 double play. Against Kenny. 2-2. Two -two. Cut on and missed. McCord comes up with a big strikeout number two of the afternoon. It's by Lakers first pitch. Fryman shows bunk. Gets it down. First base side. Safety squeeze is executed to perfection. And Fryman's not tagged over at first base by Payton. Everybody's safe. Right here. In the bottom of the fourth, Fryman puts a good swing on this one. It's going to fall in front of Sabatini in left field. His throw to the plate is a pretty good one, but it's cut off by Lisiak, and that might have allowed that run to score. Yeah, I think you're right. With runners in scoring position, 4-15 with runners on base. Gets it down, suicide squeeze, throw to the plate. It's not in time. Suicide squeeze executed to perfection by the Dogs. Greg Moulet scores. Sanford leads 5-4. Pitch to Brandon Fryman. Ripped into left, it's a base hit. One run is in. Dixon getting the wave around third. Here comes the throw from left. It's going to be late. Dixon's going to score as the throw gets to the backstop. Fryman takes the extra bag at second. It's a two RBI single for Brandon Fryman, his third hit of the day.